If I knew you were coming, I'd have baked a cake. Hired a band. Goodness sake, if I knew you were coming, I'd have baked a cake. How did you do? How did you do? How did you do? You know, I have to tell you, that I'm here with Rosalina Kayaza. Correct. Kayaza, yes. I said it right. And, you know, um, and, and, and Rosalina sent in a recipe, um, and, and you also sent in a picture. Now, the recipe looked great, but the picture was superb because you had with you these folks here, the Scratch Girls, and they're wearing their Scratch Girl uh, aprons, and you had a little story in there about how you all get together, you cook together, you bake together, and, uh, and I just thought, you know, who knows that this stuff is going on? This is wonderful. I mean, as a, as a person who loves cooking, you know, this has just enchanted me. So if you would introduce the Scratch Girls, this I is Rosalina, and if you I would introduce would the Scratch to. Girls. Um, the Scratch Girls, there's one that is not here today, and her name is Chrissy, and okay. she is actually the very first uh -huh. Scratch Girl. And this is Ava, and she is actually a scientist, and she loves to be, do scientific <laughs> things with our cream. <laughs> and this is Miriam, and she is actually a doctor, uh -huh. and she keeps us healthy. All right. And then we have Kristen, and she's our engineer. Uh -huh. So we come from, you know, different backgrounds and add a nice touch and we enjoy getting together once a month, cooking our favorite dishes that our parents passed on to us. Uh -huh. And um, we decided to name the group. So we had a little contest. <laughs> and like I told you, since I never made a box cake, so I won the contest. Eh. Scratch Girls. Scratch Girls. There you go. All right. Well, the Scratch Girls are here, and you're going to make a uh, just a, a delicious but complicated cake. It is. Um, because it's, uh, it, it's actually something that we always call pie, uh, Boston cream pie, but it's not right. a pie. It's, it's a, a cake. cake. Yeah. So let's get started cooking. Um, That's what people love to see. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention, too, yeah. that is a very a cake that we have used for many occasions. Yeah. You know, baptisms, birthdays, confirmations. Mm -hmm. So it's been in the family for a yeah. while. And it's a it's a pretty cake, so it as, is. as we will see. Mm -hmm. so, so, but it's got a couple of parts to it. Okay, so, so. we're going to start with the cream, and uh, we're going to make the cream on a double boiler. And we're going to start by heating up three cups of milk for about five minutes, and then we'll set it aside and let it cool. But in the meantime, I'm going to whisk three eggs. And once the eggs are very well beaten, so this is like a cream filling that you could actually use yes, for a yes. lot of different things, but right. it's a, sort of a basic uh, right. vanilla cream filling. I, I actually altered the cream recipe, you know, because it needed to be a little more thick. A little thicker, yeah. Okay. So once the eggs are well beaten, I'm going to add six tablespoons of flour, mm -hmm. three quarter cups of sugar and a pinch of salt. And we're going to blend all the ingredients well. Now the Scratch Girls brought all of your own stuff because you, um, <laughs> this is what you were used to working with. Right. One yes. of the things that I love is that you brought your own mixer. This is a, a, a classic uh, antique KitchenAid stand mixer. It's yes. it's beautiful and it's in perfect condition. This is unbelievable. It, it was actually a wedding gift. Is that right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> about ten years ago. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, about ten years ago. Ten yeah, years right. Ago. Yeah, just about ten years ago. Okay. All right. So now so you once have that. Our yeah. Ingredients are well mixed. Mm -hmm. We're going to move this over to the stove. Actually, if Rosalina will pour. The milk sure. gradually. Right. I'll be and happy to help the scientist yeah. here. And I'll need a, a wooden spoon, please. Thank you. So Rosalina is going to gradually add the milk. So that it doesn't and, and I'm going to stir until it reaches a very smooth and creamy consistency. Mm -hmm. Ready? What you don't want to do is to have that milk be so hot that it curdles the eggs Absolutely. or anything. Right. You know? But it'll cook in the top of the double boiler and get thicker. And, yes. Yeah. And Rosalina always instructs us to add the milk gradually. Uh -huh. Not all at once. 
Right. So, Too much heat. Yeah. So once the cream becomes very smooth, it thickens, we can then let it simmer for an additional 10 minutes. Right. And then we'll add three tablespoons of butter and one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. So it won't be too sweet, but it's perfect for our Boston cream cake. Yeah. And the butter and the, and I, I mean, the butter just get, gives it a nice gloss and the, and obviously the vanilla is yes. that flavoring. That's what the, the flavoring of the vanilla cream. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Chris, you know, it, it's really interesting what we have developed a great friendship through uh -huh. cooking. It, it's just really marvelous because we look forward to it once a month and um, we're actually looking for more Scratch Girls. So. <laughs> more like Scratch Girls. You're going to need a bigger need a kitchen. Bigger yeah. kitchen. <laughs> now whose kitchen do you gather at? Um, yeah, is it your? Actually, we take turns? Um, three of us live in the same building. Uh -huh. So we take turns going to our apartments and the original Scratch Girl Chrissy lives in the South Hills. So we'll go to her house. Uh -huh. So. Actually, four of us are yeah. in the same building. Oh, terrific. And we usually have a theme, so each, each person will choose a theme for that particular session. Great. Okay. So this will thicken. Right. And like I said, once it thickens, we'll let it cool, we'll add the butter, the vanilla, and this is what our finished product should look like. Yeah, if we just you just put it down on the on the counter, they can uh, get a good shot of it there. So it's nice. It's nice and thick, and it's creamy, and and, and it's not too sweet, but it's right. just perfect yeah, it's for our cake. Mm-hmm. Okay. And what's the next step? Okay. So now you got your cream. Um, so now this is the cream, and, and the engineer, Kristen, will now put the cake together. Okay. Alrighty. I'm going to start with three eggs. I'm going to beat them at a low speed and then increase it until I know that they're well mixed. We got to make sure that microphone is on you, especially with the machine running. So we have three eggs. Is that on? Now I have one cup of sugar that I'm going to gradually add. And at this point, we want to see that the color's lightening and the volume needs to double. And we need to get a light, frothy texture before we move on. This, this process should take about one minute. I'm actually going to scrape it down halfway through this process. And you usually start on a lower I do, yes. Thank you. All right, turn it back on. Well, the old mixer still works pretty good. It still does. does. And you know, when I'm, I received that mixer for a gift, I was so happy because you never have to grease it. I don't know about the new ones. Whether no, you no, have they, to they are uh, maintenance free, as it were. Because yeah. I'm not really good with that. <laughs> <laughs> well, those eggs have uh, actually looks like they've doubled in volume. Yeah, they do. Exactly the goal. Hey. It's interesting because um, I also live in Newcastle, uh -huh. and I always um, keep my mixer in my pantry, and my grandchildren would go in, uh -huh. and they removed a really key part, and it wasn't working. <laughs> so there's a place on Banksville Road that, that services KitchenAid. Wow. And I was lucky to get that one little nut on mm -hmm. the side. Okay. Alrighty, at this point I have one and a half cups of flour and two teaspoons of baking powder that I sifted together before the show. And I'm going to add it in small batches and fold it in carefully to the egg mixture. Because you don't want to break uh, down the, the nice right. frothy um, batter that you've already created with the egg. So you're just going to fold that in, you're not going to use the machine. The secret to light cakes, I guess, you know. It's mm. really important. Yeah. Scratch girl secret. Scratch right. girl secret. Revealed and, here. And, and you know, <laughs> I mean, I, <laughs> for the first. Time. I love the name Scratch Girl. I got to figure out how I can join. I don't because I, 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 oh, I you gotta can. get one of those aprons. No, you know we, what I mean? We have Scratch guys. You have Scratch oh, guys? Definitely. We have honorary yeah, members. Yeah, you know what? Okay. I'll bring you an apron. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just think it'd be cool. I mean, so we it, have a sort of a cooking club here, right at QED. Right, you know, I with know. with a with a few more members than four or five, but um, um, but uh, I think your your group sounds fascinating. So right. once well, all the flour and the baking powder has been added, I have three tablespoons of water that I'm going to gradually fold in to finish off the cake batter. Okay. Just want to make sure that Mike is up in her face while she's talking there, not to cover her face, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> sneak it in there. <laughs> 
Now you've already prepared your pans that you're going to bake yes, those I have. in, right? And these are the pans that are pre-floured. Now so, that's an so you've antique. greased it. Yeah, that's See another that? one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think um, I don't think they're available any place that I know of. Yeah. It's nice because the cake never sticks. Right. So, so you've got um, the other ones over there. Two nine-inch. Two nine-inch cake pans that were prepared. Right. And we're just going to divide the batter evenly between the two. Mm -hmm. And then we'll bake them at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 21 minutes. Just exactly 21 minutes. 21. You know there's an engineer in the house. When we're, yeah, we're right. Talking right. About, we're talking 21 minutes at 352 degrees. <laughs> we, I, I thought maybe you'd express it in Celsius. Where, where <laughs> I want to be user friendly. <laughs> <laughs> In some ways, I think people have lost the, 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 the joy and, and the art of, of scratch cooking. Um, uh, there, there's actually a show on cable now where they, they, where they tout the use of prepared ingredients oh, as, as no, part of, you know, no. and so, you know, you take a box of this and a jar of that and, a, and a, pa a pouch of this and you put it all together and that's dinner. And I go, well, you know, what happened to broccoli? Oh. And, uh, or, you know, or just starting with butter and flour and, butter and, flour. and eggs and, and, and whatnot. That's the other thing about all of the recipes that, 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 that I received in, in, uh, mm -hmm. for the cookbook is that what you realize is that cakes are just flour, butter, sugar. Flour, butter, sugar, flour, butter, sugar. Every you know, recipe that was in there, right. but different proportions and you know, added at different times. And I, I heard you say that yeah. before on the air, and, and it's so true. And so you've done violence to those cakes. You've cracked them on the table to get the, the bubbles out, out. Right? right. Uh, okay. Now, you bake them. This is what it looks like after we have baked these two and sliced them. So you slice them down so you have now um, four. Four, four, four layers, layers that will okay. fill with the cream that Ava is continuing to make for us. Right. Now Medium is going to demonstrate the glossy chocolate frosting that we put on the very top. Okay. And, and you know, she tells us to have two ounces of dark chocolate a day to stay <laughs> healthy. Right. Yeah, and it turns out chocolate's good for you. It Who would have thought? It is absolutely okay. good All right. for you. And it is my favorite part of this cake, so I'm really excited to make All this. Um, you start with none other than two ounces of pre-melted chocolate. So okay. we went ahead and melted that already. And in our saucepan here, if I'm going to get you to hold that for me, we're going to have half a cup of sugar. You have to hold the mic up to her, okay? Half a cup of sugar. <laughs> So what happens if it's not audible? You just and two turn tablespoons of cornstarch. <laughs> two tablespoons of cornstarch. Okay. And that'll give us that thickness that we want in the frosting. Mm-hmm. So you're going to mix those two items together. Mm -hmm. And once it's mixed very well, right? Then we add my favorite ingredient, which is the chocolate. <laughs> And we can go ahead and put that on the stove. And if I have a burner here with a low heat. You know, we're going to push ahead uh, because I know you have some of that sauce already done. And we're, we need to actually start assembling the cake now, OK? All right. All right, let's do it. Because you would, you would you just make that, f that it's like a ganache frosting. Oh, you right. mix it together. You'll mm -hmm. add a teaspoon of vanilla and three tablespoons of butter. And this is what our finished product looks like. And if mm -hmm. we can just get this stuff out of the way so you guys can see that chocolate. Yep. And this is our finished product. When you put it on the cake, it's going to be like an eclair type of topping. Right. And so, and if we want, since we have all of our products here, we can go ahead and piece it together so you guys can see what a cake actually looks like. Yep. All right. So we're going to start here with Kristen's cake. One layer at a time here. We can move some of these items. And uh, Chris, I want to mention too, it's nice after you uh, assemble the cake to mm -hmm. put it in the refrigerator. Ava's cream here. Right. Level. And basically, we're just going to layer the cake. So you end up putting some of Ava's cream on Kristen's cake. We're going to layer that up. And at the very end here, we put the icing. Mm -hmm. And you just smooth it out and do one layer at a time. So you and put about a third of that filling it on under between each layer. About yeah, a about a third, Chris. And I'm just going to do a couple of layers so you can see the technique here, and then we'll go ahead and show you the finished product because we right. all want to have some time to sample the cake. Yes, that's my yes, favorite part. 
you'll put another layer of cream and just spread that out and it's just in that fashion and you'll do one layer at a time so even if the layers are thin it's nice because it then is. there's uh, there's more filling you get more yes, filling that way exactly with that. it gives you some yeah. variety so this is the fashion that you usually do it in. it's just mm -hmm. like this we'll go ahead and assemble that you know it when you um put it in the oven you know it never raises it's just always flat it's and a it's, it's a dense flat yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. okay and at the very top and I'll just show you how you can just start putting a we usually just drizzle the chocolate on there and you can do it in any way that you want but let's go ahead and jump to the finished product and we'll show you what the cake looks like here yeah well, because you've been working hard, we say through the magic of television, and I know it's through the magic of working all night um, and all morning, uh, getting that. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, yeah, that's a beautiful cake. Rosalina, you didn't lie. That's a gorgeous thing. Can we cut a piece of that? Do oh, we yes. Have? Yeah. Chris, um, the other thing, you have to drizzle the icing on when it's warm. While it's warm, that, yeah. Because you know, that creates it... the dripping and okay. so forth. There's a knife right behind you there. I'm gonna do this right here. Chris. Yeah. May I show you how I cut the birthday cake? Oh yes, cake? please. <laughs> this is an old fashioned Italian what? way of cutting the cake. All right. You make a circle like this, and you may have seen this before, but this is a really big knife. Okay. All right. I usually use one that's serrated a little bit smaller mm -hmm. smaller <laughs> and everybody fights for the center oh okay so i'll make yours large yes okay. please yeah and i'll just i always have another little side spatula oh, there good. We go. okay oh look at that i need a fork now it's right in that drawer right there that's where the secret stash is of forks I'm Rosa waiting. Rosalina, this <laughs> looks delicious. Whoa. Whoops, my, my layer came off. I'm going to take That's it from okay. the soft it's part right good. here. Mm -hmm. mm. Well. <laughs> now that is a scratch cake. I, you know, Wonderful. I've enjoyed this cake for years when I go out and, yeah. and whatever, but I've never attempted to make it. You've inspired me in many uh -huh. ways, not just with this recipe, but with the... Uh, the, the sort of uh, sense of community that you all have uh, has created and that you enjoy. I know it's its own reward, but we thank you for sharing it with thank us you. and uh, with our viewers here at WQED, the Scratch Girls, Rosalina and the Scratch Girls. Now here's how you can get their recipe for uh, this and, uh, and, and about 120 more terrific uh, recipes uh, in our CS for Cake Cookbook.